Yo, what's good everybody and welcome back to another reaction video and today it's a special one. Today we're going to be reacting to being high in a plane. Parentheses, don't do it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and join the network because it's good for you. This is a well-known fact. Freeze. Subscribe. Now, if you excuse me. No, wait. The story of me. Yeah, yeah, excuse me. I have to go do something so I can enjoy this video thoroughly. Okay, be right back. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta hurry up, man. The camera's about to die. Let's get into it. This story does not go to plan. This was the plan, and this is the story. One day I woke See, up and decided, you know fuck? what? I need to go visit my dad in Nepal. Like, I don't know why it came to my head, but it did. And I'm thinking about it. It had also been seven years since I last went to my home country. So fuck it. We're going to Nepal. <laughs> so, you know, I go online, I book my tickets, and I wait for the day to arrive, and it finally arrived. This was the day I was going to Nepal. I'm calling Hell up yeah. my friends. Yo, I'm going to be in Nepal for a bit. You're not going to be hearing from me for a while. I'm gonna be too busy mashing with these Nepali girls, fam. And one of my friends tells me, Yo, yo, brother. Oh my god. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Think about it. You're gonna be in a plane for like three, four, Whoa. five, six hours, fam. You gotta be high. I was about to brush up the whole idea and call him a crackhead, but then I thought about it. He's right. I, I kind of need to be high. I mean, it's a six hour journey. It's going to be uncomfortable seats. Probably going to be babies crying in the back. It's just going to be uncomfortable. So if I'm going to be sat there for six hours, I, I might as well be high. So boom, that's what I decided. I'm going to be high. But there was two issues. No? I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I'm taking edible before on a plane, but I didn't really feel anything. But I will, definitely would not mind getting litty. On the plane. One, I didn't want to get into a plane stinking of weed. Number two, I didn't want to be That's high true. at an airport. I know how stressful it is to <laughs> find your plane <laughs> tickets and your terminals. Nah, and bro, you gotta have everything and passports bro. and all these things you have to figure out before you go to one of the countries. So how bro, do I overcome these insane. problems? There's only one answer: edibles. So this was the plan: get past security, you know, do the luggage check, do all the paperwork, get all that stressful things out of the way. And while I'm waiting to get onto the plane, yeah, I, I, can just, pop I, it. I just eat the edible sweet. Twenty minutes later. I'm in the plane, the edible starts kicking in I'm enjoying the flight yeah, and yeah. boom I'm in Nepal, that was the plan But as you guys know by now, the story really didn't Line up with the plan, did it? It went south Very, oh, very man. south Southwest. So here's what actually happened I get to the airport and I'm sweating because I'm nervous I do not want to be an international Drug smuggler, if I get caught My life oh. is fucked So I'm sat there, standing outside the airport Debating if I should even do it, I mean It looks like a sweet, it's wrapped in chocolate It's, it's a sweet, right? No one's gonna taste it's a sweet, the sweet. Man. Security aren't just gonna be like, yo, I need to eat your sweet to prove that's that alright. Do you know what? It's a fucking sweet. So I stop panicking, I come back to reality. Alright, cool. I can do this. So I get to the security section. <laughs> and at this point, my legs are shaking. Bro, bro are you okay? You're right. Boy, that man look like Big E, bro, from WWE, bro. Bro, his head is like a bowling ball. Like, yo. No way, bro. This is like a fence right here. If you were to punch this, your hand will break. 100%. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I'm good, bro. Whoa, look at the homie right there. Just hot. It's December. <laughs> I somehow got past the queue. <laughs> I didn't find anything because, you know. He it's said it on my It's sweet. December. I do all the paperwork, you know, the visas and passports and everything I need to do. And I finally get to the waiting section for the plane. And I cannot believe I just finessed the whole airport. I so feel dumb. like Nicole Milano right now. I just pulled off the maddest mission. Pablo Escobar in Gang the shoot. car. I feel like a gangster, fam. Man to the international <laughs> drug smuggler. I was actually debating quitting my job and starting my life on the streets. If the police are watching this, this is all a joke, all right? Entertainment <laughs> purpose only. I run the streets Imagine. now. Fuck the feds. This is my hood. So I'm just out there chilling, waiting for my plane, knowing that I just cleared up a whole mission. I was on top of the world. Nothing could stop me. The plane was supposed what? to arrive in like 20 minutes, so I thought, you know what? Let me just eat it. So I ate it. So five minutes passes, and I'm still in a good mood. I'm just out there chilling, and this is where everything changed. But Ding music. Dong. Hi, this is British Airways, and all flights to Nepal is going to be delayed by a maximum of two hours. Please relocate to the new waiting station and take all your luggage with you. Huh? 
this gotta be happening right now. I just ate the edible. I am done. The new waiting station was on the other side of the airport. So we had to go through security and all the paperwork and all of that again. And it gets worse. The really? edible started kicking in. It was supposed to take 20 minutes, but the fact that I didn't eat anything probably made it hit oh. quicker and harder. I'm not gonna lie to you, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I know I'm an alpha sigma male, but I was what completely losing my shit. Me being high and stressed at the same time didn't really go well together. So I tried to calm myself down and think of a solution and a solution i found here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wait here i'm gonna take a nap and sleep off the high we've got two hours if i take a nap for an hour i, I should be good by the time i wake up my oh, dog no. i didn't wake up i'm sorry to spoil it to you but that's literally what happened i, I, I didn't wake up i was done i was out cold K. i was like oh, dreaming bro. about fairies and he shit fucking oh, got that that cushion I must that, boy. Have slept for like three or four hours at least so yeah i missed my flight but that's not even the worst part imagine this imagine you tell all your boys your family you tell everyone that you're going to nepal for a month and you have to go back home and tell them you missed the flight do you know how That's much crazy. of an absolute beanhead you look like what are you gonna tell them yo uh i was there i was mad and then like the the, the plane took no no G, there's no excuse you just have to take it on the chin like a man you're a dickhead you know what i'm just gonna cut the video <laughs> here i don't want to relive the memory or the embarrassment anymore all right that's it that's the whole story <laughs> all righty that's the end of it all righty that's the end of the video hopefully you guys enjoy that take care i gotta charge my camera i'll see you in the next reaction video deuces